Okay, I've got five o'clock. Yeah, that's I call this meeting to order, November the sixteenth, twenty twenty three. I'll ask Brother Coleman for a word of prayer. Let us bow our heads. Father God, we just want to thank you this afternoon being in our social meeting for this month. And Lord, we just want to give you the honor and the praise. We're asking you to be in our business, be in our hearts, touch our minds that we'll be on one accord and touch the reef families that is out and the ones that are sick, Lord. We're asking you to touch right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and we thank you for our wonderful town. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Also, I want to say a prayer for um, Chad Woods. He's yes. one of our maintenance guys. His mom's going through some hard times. So yes. be, be in thoughts for her. Um, before you have the minutes of the last meeting, I'll uh, ask for a uh, motion to accept the minutes as read. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as read. I second. No, uh, there you go. I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, yeah. like aye. Motion carries. Terry, do you have anything to for the acknowledgement? Um, I'll just say that you know after our last meeting, uh, Dustin had brought up the fact that we're we're looking at probably some medical marijuana. Uh, laws that are going to come into effect. I have talked to the county attorney a little bit about that, and he and I are going to try and attend the ASAP meeting, I believe, December 7th? Yes, that's what we're hoping. Okay. And I, th I, think I think that's going to be the case. They're going to have some individuals present at that meeting that can kind of inform us a little bit about what to expect so that maybe we can kind of go in together with the county and, and have a, a bit of a eyes open kind of thing instead of trying to scramble and fix it later. So that's kind of on the radar right now tentatively and, and hopefully we'll get that something here by the first of the year we'll kind of know where we're at. You know, talking about that, that's something that we really need to discuss for employee status too uh, as far as drug screenings go. So that's something that we really need to focus, get, get ahead of because really it's in a limbo. Nobody knows what to do yet. Well, and, and on that note, I'll, I think that has come back in our more, more recent update of our personnel policy about drug screenings and background checks and things of that nature. So those are all things that we could probably try and work into implementation for the city. The county discussed it just last night. Yeah, uh, and that's why it's on my mind because I I, uh, I, I read all of that and I, I was made aware of it. Um, so I will give you that, sure. what the county has implemented, and maybe we can mock off of that a little bit. So. No. All right, thank you. Hey, yes, sir. You mean, are, can you, are you good? Yeah. Okay, you go. that's why I got it for you down there. <laughs> well, I need to. <laughs> All right. Didn't hear a word Tara said, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm working real hard, Mary Bell. You know you're not, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Before you have the financial reports, um, I'll ask for a motion to accept the financial reports. Make the motion to accept them. Financial reports. Second. I have a first and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like, sign, most curious. We don't have no action in old business, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. No old business, so we'll move on down to new business. Uh, do, you all, do you have the, the very back page? You all have the, for the Ellis Park project there. Um, next to last. Next to last. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the playground that we just put in, this is an addition to it and, and this is in the budget. And this is for the curbing and the mulch to go down around it. And that price is twelve thousand six hundred and eighty one cents. Um, I'd just like to have a motion to accept that, and like I said, that, that is going to come out of that uh, Ellis Park budget, so it's already been allocated. I make a motion that we accept this bid and move forward. First, I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pulled what side? Motion carries. All right. Chris, you can come up and explain this. <clears throat> Uh, one of 
the previous council meetings we had, we I had to ask for a uh, valve for the water plant that got damaged during a lightning storm a few years back. It cost around eleven thousand dollars at the time. We voted on it, and I've actually got that in the works. It's on its way. Uh, don't know exact date. Post to know something. That maybe either tomorrow or first of the week. But when we presented that, I, a few of the council members has asked. Uh, what do we do about voltage protection or surge protection up there to keep that from happening again? And I, I uh, got a quote with our uh, electricians, and they said that they can put voltage suppressors on all the buildings and protect all of our equipment, which we've had. We have about a half a million dollars worth of equipment up there that we don't have any protection on at the moment. And the quote we got from them was six thousand nine hundred and how much? Nine oh five. And five dollars. But that that would cover all the building and all the electronics for all the water plants. But is that more or less like an insurance? Does it happen? They fix it or? No, it will keep, keep it. it it'll, it'll keep it from happening. And then if something did burn up or something or messed up, then we could turn it in on the insurance. Okay. But I think it, it, go for it. Does anybody else have any other questions on that? No, so the tailors they'll install it at, Yes. They'll do all the install. They'll do all the install, uh, set up and everything, wiring, conduit, everything. Nice. And that'll and that'll cover all the buildings. And all electronics. Are the materials under any warranty or? Anything? Yes, they'll have a warranty under them. If there's no further questions, I'll ask to have a motion to uh, accept this. I'll make a motion. And in that in that aspect of it, um, take it out of occupational tax. Yeah. Reflect that on that motion. Okay. I second. First and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, last sign, motion carries. All right, thank you, Chris. All right, for information, um, the next council meeting, as you know, will be December the 8th, lunch at 11, meeting at 1. Uh, we are having a lunch tomorrow for the employees and council members if they want to come tomorrow at 11. So, Y'all are welcome to come to that as well. Um, that's all I have. To You're up. <laughs> <laughs> My name is uh, Allie Marshall. Um, I have been talking to Jeff a little bit. Um, I live here in Hartford. I have a three-year-old son who is uh, mentally and physically handicapped. Um, currently, there is nothing here as far as a playground goes uh, for him to have any kind of leisure uh, in that aspect. I have a younger son who is almost two. If we do go to the park, Kent, which is my older, we just push him around in a stroller. Um, like I said, there's not currently anything for him uh, that he can access. He is not in a wheelchair, um, and there are a lot of other special needs in the county, children too, that are his age that are either uh, not to the age of a wheelchair yet, so a wheelchair swing is not necessary. It's beneficial, it's great. I do think it is a need as well. Um, but as far as a younger age group, we don't have anything. Um, and these kids need something. <laughs> oh, I, get it. I, I know uh, before I had a special needs child, this wasn't something that I thought about. And I'm sure I don't fault anybody for not, not thinking about that when we're making changes. Uh, because if you're not living it firsthand, you don't mean to not think about it. It's just the way it is. Um, so I'm just hoping to kind of uh, ask you guys kindly to keep that at the forefront of your minds. Um, when we are doing things, making improvements in the county as far as for children. Um, and I have here um, the swing that I have kind of been looking at um, is around the $2,200 range. And I was able to scrounge up about $1,300. Um, so I'm asking you guys kindly if you would match maybe uh, what I have raised and get this swing put up at Ellis Park. 
Um, my granddad was one of the, the men who kind of, um, I guess, founder uh, of Ellis. He's one of the one of the fields is named after him. Um, he's no longer with us. I never got to meet him. I'm sure a lot of you would actually know him. His name was Cecil Bolts. Um, and I think this would be, this would just, you know, make his world if he was here today to see that something like this was being put up at Ellis. So that's all I have for you guys. Oh, I appreciate thank you hearing me out. Do so you what's have your name? I'm sorry. Allie Marshall. There's that. Do, do you, you have a, a um, like a, a picture? A I link? do. Um, and I have it here, but Jeff also has it. Um, I have sent it, sent it to him, um, the, a photo and a link. Um, so you guys can. Is that, is that the one through DWA Playground? Uh, is that who that is through? Do we still have it? How is it different than accessible wheelchair um, swing? This one, and, and actually it's not deemed a handicapped swing, um, but it is kind of, uh, it's called an inclusive piece. It's, it's a bucket seat, um, and it can come with a harness yeah. to where he's able to lounge in it. It holds him in securely. And then it actually, it's something called a tandem swing as well. Yeah. So yeah. hooked to this swing is okay, a seat okay. where I could sit on, um, his dad could sit on and swing with him. Uh, so not only is he getting the enjoyment of a swing, he's getting that you know interaction with another loved one uh, while he's on that playground. And not only would it be useful to handicapped children, but other kids could use it. Other, other younger children could use it too. So it would just be beneficial all around in, in a lot of ways. So, If I have the blessings, I can um, go on ahead and purchase that. Um, I think we should move forward. I, we, we have that. I will say that we have that in the budget as well for the Ellis Park projects. Do we need the, the matching funds? Could I mean? Could could this, we put that into could that the city account just for purchase um, it? Is that here with your grant account? No. Let me look here. We don't have one designated for that, do we? Mm -hmm. Um, could we? Let me ask you this: Could we put it into the um, the theater for temporarily? Right. What about economic development? You could earmark it, however, for the project. And that way, it it's secured for that. Yeah. So long as it's in one of those that she can move it from under the under the general. Uh, yeah. So that's what we'll do. We'll we'll do that with that and keep it. And then, if y'all are okay, I will order this tomorrow. Um, and like I said, it is in the budget for it. So, so is it a standalone, or will it connect with the other? No, this will this this will be by itself. Um, and I talked to Jeff a little bit, and I'd like for you to serve on this committee as well. Um, anybody else that's willing to serve on this uh, Ellis Park stuff, the exclusive playground. Do what? TC's our first on air. Yeah, TC, and, and I know Jeff had a. Bunch of them that's donated to. Yeah, that's all. Okay, all PC Sanford and a lot of them have. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, that, the, kudos to you for getting the, the oh, citizens. I'm happy to do it. Um, I'm it, happy it, to do it. Yeah, anything know, in this uh, regard, I'm happy to do. So, so with that said, um, I would like for y'all to meet on the exclusive playground equipment poured in place because that's important to have the poured in place mat for the accessibility. So, um, maybe if y'all can get together and have something ready for the January meeting, I would ask for y'all to have something and let's move forward on this because it is important and we don't have it anywhere. So, um, well, I appreciate it. And I was going to say, I didn't know, you know, it seems like the entirety of the price is something the city could take on. And I know that you've worked hard at collecting money, but I'm... You know, give to another donation. Give to another charitable organization. When the city, when we're recouping and doing well for the park anyway, then that needs to be part of the inclusion piece. That, I mean, that was even in, written in the grant. They were asking, are we going to have any inclusive pieces? So I don't remember how that was written, but I appreciate that. But I just think it's something the city should take on their full amount. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, we. Like, I mean, I agree with that. I mean, we can put this. I don't think you're limited to one piece. No, we can we can add on from this. So I mean, mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, and I will say this: it is important that we, if we're going to do this, we're going to 
we, we've got to spend this ARPA money at a given time. So if we're going to do exclusive playground equipment, we need to focus on this because our time's going to be running out. Mm -hmm. And so I think this could be a win-win for everybody. Well, so. I mean, we need to expand, too, on our thinking as to other items that may suffice rather than one swing. I mean, Absolutely, and that's, and that's what I'm talking about. I mean, uh, there's stuff out there. Um, and. I, I'll accessible get, walkways yes. to even get to the swing. Yeah, that's what I told him as well. We, we need to have the sidewalk set up to, uh, to get to them and stuff. And that port in place mat makes it easier for everybody to get to and not be on mulch or anything else. So um, if you want to head that up and y'all can meet sometime um, and we'll re regroup on that and maybe have something in January to okay. look at. Do you, do you have like a budget? In mind that, uh, or so I, in my in my thinking, exclusive playground equipment of the size that we're talking, um, you you probably won't touch anything under a hundred. Yeah. So, um, I want. That's just my honest opinion of dealing with playground equipment. And um, you know, we will know if we are a recipient of the grant money by May. Right. So in the, I think inclusion was written into that grant, one, wasn't it? So that could be I so. part. Right. I mean, I don't. I, I want us to see how much we can get. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, and well, make and, it. And see, here's the thing on that too. On ARPA funds, if we do get awarded that grant, we still wouldn't be able to use that grant for match if we got awarded that grant. So that this will have to be a separate project of what we're doing. So that's something that we need to think about as well. So, I'd like to make a motion that the city of Hartford purchases the accessible swing in its full amount. I second. I have a first and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Holds like sign, motion carries. We'll take that out of that budget. Okay. So what do we do with our the donation? So we can set that up. I guess we could put that into... Um, well, those checks, I will say, I don't know if this makes a difference. They are, like in the memo line of the checks, I had people to make them out to. The Ellis, they're made out to the city of Hartford, but Ellis Park Project is in the memo line. Okay. Just because, you know, I wanted to help sure. out in that in that sure. aspect. Um, so that hmm. could be used in anything as far as inclusive playground equipment goes at Ellis okay. Park. I would just make sure that you earmark it for the inclusive equipment um, for that project. That way, okay. the donations are being used for the intended yes. purpose. Okay. Yeah. okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. And is there the the new the equipment that we we have going up? Should we use the same same vendor? Uh, Right. Basically, what he can do in 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 the aftermath of it, he can build around to match everything up. He can, they can custom build anything that we want to match up around that. Okay. Um, but if there's another location, I know like the Eagle's Nest, we could use that area and clean all that up too. So I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to use the same vendor. Okay. I just didn't know if since we've already used them in the past, if uh, they already know what we. The style we he's have, got it all the mapped out. All um, he's got he's even got the new one where it's at now. He's got it pictured out the the layout of it. Okay. Um, so he can pretty well work on his computer and set okay. something up. And you'll share his like. contact. I will. Lisa, just correct me if I'm wrong though. If this is something that's outside of the, that even if it's outside of the grant, a separate project for the amount that we're talking, we may end up having to get multiple vendor and bids. Correct. Yeah, but we do have this already set aside in the budget. Okay, so, but I mean, still, will they need to get bids, though, for multiple vendors, since if it's on the price tag that we're talking about? Yep. If it's over 40. So, yes. over 40. Yes. Okay. so we'll still have to bid out, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't want them auditors on us. All right. So, just, uh, I guess, Jeff, if you want to head that up, um, have something to report back in uh, January. Sure. And um, let's see if we can move forward with that. Absolutely. So, nice. all right, thank you. All right. Has anybody else got anything? Okay. Jeff, do you have anything? Nothing else to add. Nope. Uh, 
once again, appreciate everybody's hard work. Uh, I really enjoy the city of Hartford, so glad to be here. Appreciate it. Mr. Coleman? I'd just like to say we took pictures of what she's talking about yesterday up in Indiana <laughs> yeah. before we came back. Yeah, yeah it is nice, and it, uh, it's it's got to be designed strictly for that because um, we have focused on all, all these other things, and you're right. We we don't see it, we don't hear it. So I appreciate you, Lisa. Do you have anything? No. Do you have anything? Uh, Bo and I were talking about a Christmas float in the Beaver Dam Parade. Does anybody else want to participate, or is it going to be a one woman float. <laughs> do, you, do you already have a project in mind, or? Well, what I told her is basically Marissa and, and uh, the maintenance crew they they put something together last year and, and it looked good. Mm -hmm. um, so we can tell them what we want. And I told I told Stacia maybe get with Cody Shut and them to do some balloons or something like that to just put on there. So. Yeah. The idea is out there. Like balloon columns. I'm just. Like not, I'm not a designer. Yeah, so. No. When is the break? Do you know when? December the second. Uh, are you gonna get on a boat with me? No. Yes, you will. No. Are you gonna get on there, Tony? Those those two are out of town. They said that. that day. I'm out of town that weekend. Okay. What day? Be on a Saturday, the second of December. So. Something to think about. Just let us know in a couple of days if y'all want to or not. <laughs> yeah, we got two weeks to design something. So. All right, Mary Bell, do you have anything? No. Is this better for you though? You like this? I like it better. It's all for you and Tony down there. Huh? I wish everyone would use one. Well, I'm trying my best. Well, push one down there toward Tara. She's the one that loves it. She's got it now. You can hear me loud and clear now. <laughs> well, but the meeting's over. <laughs> right. Yes, I'd like to end it. Thank you. All right, thank you. Tony, do you have anything? Yeah, just a question about the... Uh, are we going blacktop Griffin Street this year, or is it too late? Griffin Street. Or where about the hospital? So, um, I got off the phone with Scotty's the other day. Chris made me aware that they're not making nines down there at the quarry right now. I'm making what? Number nine rocks that oh. they put into the blacktop. And he said he's hoping to get us within the next week or so, and that's going to be his last stop. Okay. So, but yes, I, I called about that. Trying to get that done before winter sets in, they won't do the blacktop. I didn't know it was too late. Oh, no, they. Well. He's about two weeks behind because they're they're not pushing any rock out like that. So, but yeah, oh, I, I did that, talk to him. In that same line, I noticed a peach alley behind my office had been graded down and cut in some spots. Is that in the works? Yeah. So um, we added that on the list to fix. So uh, that's he's going to take off care of all of us before he he closes up the. Black top, so but yes, that will be taken care of before they shut down. Okay, that's all I got. All right, all right. Um, if there's nothing else, I'll uh, ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting. I'll make a motion. I second. I have a first and second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Thank you all. Sure.